on the way up again. That's a proper one. My name's Zane. Russell Babakil. Um, I'm a carpenter by trade. My name's Michael Guest. I, I make fishing television. I talk about fishing. I love fishing. I go fishing. Yeah, so my dad's Vic Levert. Yeah, he's run a few boats, fished a few comps. <laughs> my name's Todd Richards. I live in Newcastle at the moment, but I'm from Frost. I grew up here all my life. We're in God's country at the moment, up on the mid north coast up here. Yeah, it's a pretty special place. It's had its moments, that's for sure. So this is Lake Macquarie, the biggest tidal lake in the southern hemisphere. It's an amazing place. It's on the central coast of New South Wales. Foster, the hardest time of the year. 35 kilometres southwest <laughs> wind on a low tide with no lures that were pre-centred. So <laughs> that, that takes out trying to fish the racks when there's no water, trying to fish the racks when it's 35 kilometre an hour winds, and both Todd and myself are probably plastics experts, so we, we know we can rely on that gulp taste. When I first started using gulp, it was probably about three years ago when we got the new Edgewater 18.8, and that was when basically I really started getting hard into fishing. I just started targeting, well, I fell in love with reds, just absolutely frothed out on reds, catching big fish on light line, sort of semi-consistently, as well as, yeah, they're just beautiful fish in general. There's like three or four trays run that way, yeah. and then up there there's some good rails run through that way. Uh, trophy fish like Mulloway, it's actually a trophy flathead fishery at the moment, and occasionally even a kingfish in winter times. Here we go. Oh, that's <laughs> right. The, the new gulp sand will be absolutely a game changer on the charter boat, especially with catching bait, but as well as putting our clients on the proper fish. Good lathering in the dirty water. I've been asking for this stuff. Hang on a second, I'll see. I think it's in my pocket. We reapply this gel every half a dozen casts if it's really tough, so. That's what we call gulp gel. We're getting a few bites down there, but they're not keen, so. We're hoping the, uh, either the UV or the flavors in this, the bite triggers, we are gonna make something happen. So the, the gulp gel formula is what's actually in your gulp soft plastic. So there's no, you don't need to add this to a gulp, whether you're, you're grabbing a gulp out of a packet or out of a tub, it's ready to go. It's got that scent dispersion. We just hit a nice little patch of reds, producing a couple good fish, as you can see here. This one fell to one of the trusty old gulp jerk shads. Can't fail them, especially when the bite's tough. Where gulp gel comes in, it gives you that same that same bite reaction, which is what you want, that same fantastic scent. Fish comes up behind your lure and says, man, I am gonna eat that. But being able to apply it to other lures, like metal jigs, stick baits, poppers, even vibes, it's just made a big difference. When something smells good, you're gonna wanna climb all over it. Gosh, this is a good fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's a proper one. Hey, come on, stop, 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 stop. That was on the catchy catchy actually, the real light one, just like on the other end, <laughs> gulped up. <laughs> can turn a fish that wasn't really going to bite the lure into one that is just going to crash tackle it in an instant. And, uh, and if you've got that in your arsenal, it can make a fairly dull day or an easy sort of average day turn into a great day. If you uh, imagine throwing an un unscented lure in that same situation, they would probably come over, have a look at it. Nah, tastes like plastic, no thanks. We just went down in that profile, added a bit of bit of scent, and it's it's done the job. Been a little bit quiet up until then. Oh, well, how's that? Nice little double on the shimmers. Uh, we cracked a little bit of a pattern here. It's oh, it's probably blowing about 30 k. So we're really struggling to get our plastics down along the washboards. Um, we grabbed the little shimmer just because it just the sink rate is so much quicker than a plastic, and you can fish them quite fast still. So give them a uh, a good scent of the new gulp gel fishing real tight along the washboard just on those shadow, shadow lines and just fast little retrieve, hop off, off, off the bottom and uh, look at that, proof's in the pudding. Nice little pair. This guy just came up and uh, had one taste of that new gulp gel and he liked what that was all about. He was all over that. There we go. Yeah. 
Tyler? Uh, I guess so. What's happening? Oh, I don't know, boys. It's a pretty decent fish. <laughs> Ah, that was on the wine. Back. Yeah, crank it. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Drive up, yeah. Should we do go that way, yeah? Slow down there, slow down, slow down. I just threw that guy in there, a couple of little shakes, and just let it pause. And there was probably three or four fish come up at that. And this guy just cruised from the back of the pack, had one sniff, and said, I'll have me some of that. Oh, nice fish. Beautiful fish. <laughs> One great thing about this part of the world, my home, my home estuary, Lake Macquarie, is it just throws things up every now and then. They just catch you out. And uh, middle of winter, beautiful winter's day. You can see how calm it is here. Three metres of water, right up against a bit of ugly country. I've finally spotted what this fish is. And it's a Yeltsail kingfish. And it's a beautiful fish on that heavily scented vibe. 8 pound braid and 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, so not the ideal kingfishing tackle. But I've got to tell you, that is not what I expected to see today. And the vibe's just in the corner of his mouth. Cracking oh, yeah. little kingfish. Go on, bud. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I hadn't put a bit of gulp gel on there, I'm sure I could have turned a fish that's swimming up, eyeballing this lure, looking right at it and going, oh, I don't think I'm going to commit to a fish that just goes, you know what, that smells really good, bang, I'm, I'm all over it. And that's what gulp gel does. The idea was that we were only relying on the new gulp gel. So all lures that were unscented, we used Berkeley Fat Dogs, um, Puppy Dogs, some of the new Berkeley Shimmer 4 colours. Yeah, the gulp gel has just been an absolute game changer. Like, We've had tough bites today from kingfish stick on stick baits that just would refuse stick baits until the gel was on. Yeah, it made a big difference, but as, as well as the deep water fish. A few times there, you, you would see a fish shake your lure in and just let it fully sit stationary and just watch them come up and uh, get a taste of that formula and it was all over. Uh, I've been wanting gulp gel for such a long time to be able to uh, add to those lures. I don't know how many fish we caught on the shimmer forks with that heavily scented lure. It's just one after another there for a while. Yeah, applying that gulp gel basically anywhere that can hold it <laughs> and just lathering it on, it made a big difference today, for sure. So yeah, that scent made a massive difference. We were just casting our lures up current and drifting them back and pretty much just let them sit on the bottom and the fish just use that scent to, to find it and eat it. So it You didn't even have difference. to move the shimmer shad. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the time you could, you could see that thing was 100% stationary on the bottom and you just watch the watch your line and the fish would just come over, get a taste of that gel and they were just straight onto it. There's quite a few ports up here that get flogged quite hard by both pros and wrecks. This new gulp gel will allow those fish that actually are there, the limited fish that are there, to bite. It'll be a much, much easier. Fish of Murray Cod with spinner baits. Go barra fishing with hard bodied lures, um, little tiny blades for brim in deeper water, things like metal jigs. There's so many areas where adding some scent to a, to a hard bodied lure or even to a PVC plastic lure if you want to, then, then it works really well, there's no doubt. Counterclockwise, clockwise, leather. <laughs> Please don't use that. <laughs> Give us a couple there and another one, brother. Oh, yeah. 